so in this video we are going to see the recruitment news from isro there is a recruitment from isro space application center or sac ahmedabad okay so there is a recruitment happening for apprentice for graduate and also for diploma that is graduate and technician apprentice recruitment is happening for various branches okay so we'll be seeing the uh, branch detail qualification details age stipend details application procedure everything in this video okay so uh, the post is for graduate and for uh, technician apprentice that is for diploma okay and the branches they are calling is for graduate apprentice the branches are electronics and communication engineering mechanical computer science engineering electrical and electronics and civil then for diploma apprentice or technician apprentice the branches they are calling is ec again electronics and communication mechanical computer science electrical and civil okay then the qualification they are saying is first class b or b tech for the graduate apprentice and for diploma or technician apprentice you require a first class diploma in percentage they have given as 65 percentage mark you should be getting or if it is in cgpa out of 10 you should be having 6.84 minimum cgpa okay so that is the percentage details and the cgpa details so that is the basic qualification you should be having first class okay b or b tech or first class diploma then the age limit is maximum age limit is 35 years and also there is age relaxations for all the reserved categories as per the reservation rules of government of india and the stipend they are saying is 9000 per month for the graduate apprentice and for technician or diploma apprentice it is 8000 per month okay and also they have given that only if you have qualified your uh, b or b tech or diploma in or after november 2017 only then you are eligible to apply okay so you should be having your qualifi qualifying degree in or after 2017 before that if you have passed your b or b tech or diploma you are not eligible to apply and also if you have uh, once you have done your apprenticeship you are not eligible to apply these two things they have given is clear in the notification okay so next is the selection process so we have seen the age detail the siphon and also the qualification details next we are going to see the selection process the selection process is not having any interview or any written examination it is just by short listing and then document verification so you just have to apply if you are getting shortlisted means you will get the job okay so that is the selection process very simple there is direct selection okay next is application procedure you have to apply online i'll be sharing the link in description you have to apply through that link and also you have to print your application form you don't have to send the hard copy or, or anything but just keep that printed application form with yourself and also you have to note your registration number also okay so once you have to apply online then you have to take the printout of the application form and also you have to note down your registration number and then if you are getting shortlisted when you are going for the document verification you have to take your printed application form along with you and also all your certificates you have to you have to take or you have to bring for the document verification and these certificates and all the documents and your printed application form should be self attested okay so all these things you have given as detail or in a clear format in the notification that's why i'm saying it to you okay so when you are calling for the document verification you have to take your printed application form it's self attested copy and also all your uh, required certificates and documents your everything you have to bring in a self attested form okay and the start date of application is 9th of november and the last date is 23rd november so there is nothing complication in applying for this recruitment very simple process you just have to apply online just you have to take the printout and keep it with yourself you don't have to send also and if you are getting called you are getting a mail then you have to bring these copies and certificates okay so that is a very simple selection process and the simple application procedure so if you think you are, that you are eligible if you are willing to work as an apprentice in isro this is a golden opportunity so i would suggest you to please go through the notification which i'll be giving in description box 
If you think you are eligible, please do apply for it as soon as possible. The last date is 23rd of November. Please don't wait till that because uh, towards the end of uh, the application date, there will be a rush of site. Okay, so please do apply for it as soon as possible. And also, if you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share it maximum. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.